undertook a project to renovate our ICU, basically build a new one utilizing today's technology. We realized that what we're trying to achieve with the ICU project may not be supportable with the current infrastructure. Therefore, we had to rebuild a good portion of that so it can handle what we're going to ask it to do over the next 20 to 25 years. So we started researching different technologies on how we could uh, mitigate some of the risks that we were dealing with. We found the scanning uh, technology to be the most useful for this project type. There are two main examples that stand out concerning the laser scanning. Uh, first involved phase one. We went into the mechanical room. Um, it was uh, in a room that had been added into and modified so many times it was no longer code compliant. Equipment needed to be uh, replaced uh, both from a serviceability standpoint and from a reliability standpoint. So we set up in that very small area over 75 shots and some of which we had to be two layers up into the piping and laying on the back with the scanner being woven up through three more layers of piping. We'll go through, take the SD card, download the information, start processing and seeing, doing the registration, and from there we export to Autodesk Recap, and from there it goes into Revit and starts either the modeling process or preparing it to share with the rest of the team uh, via BIM360. I don't think we could have done it without the 3D scan because we would have started and then realized this ain't going to work and then you start all over again. So that's a lot of time and a lot of money saved on 3D scan. Second example was in the, the round ICU, which we called phase two. The genesis for the design really started with our staff. Well, what they came up with was that circular design because everything is centered around the middle, the core where the nurses and the physicians will be positioned. With no parallel lines, we were able to use scanning from the beginning of that construction phase uh, all the way through to the very end. Because of the existing drawings being off, the connection to the existing building had to be slightly modified, which uh, rotated the interior space of the ICU. That is a, a very, very difficult coordination. Even if everything had been perfect, it still would have been very difficult to do. We wouldn't have done the 3D scanning and we would have just gone off our drawings. Everything would have been off three inches, which is a, not fun, especially in a round building. And we were able to to start building the building uh, from the beginning before the concrete was even, even placed. That allowed us to buy some three-form glass, a curved piece of glass for the millwork and a myriad of other types of products. We have a, a radius glass wall. You know, this isn't something that you can shape in the field, you know, and adjust accordingly. It has to be accurate from the get-go. And we ended up making templates, brought them out here and, and double-checked everything, and it, we didn't have to make one adjustment. And ultimately, we saved four months off the original projected deadline for this project with the use of technology. I feel very good about the future of Hutchinson Regional Healthcare System as well as our community. And we will continue to evolve and renovate our facility until we will be that hospital you'll read about that says, hey, what does rural healthcare look like? What, is, what does right look like? Go to Hutchinson, Kansas, you'll see it.